Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me, let's play some more of our Tunisian Thievery campaign in Europa Universe House 4. 10 more prestige or 181 ducats? Well, the prestige is somewhat useful, so we'll take the prestige. We're actually making pretty good income, or we were, with no maintenance and no fort maintenance on, but uh, suddenly we're spending quite a bit on forts. I'm just going to keep them on because it's bitten me in the butt recently and I don't want to mess with that. It'd be nice if we could just make a whole bunch more money, that's another option. We did just steal 450 monarch points from all the estates. And hey, there goes our Regency Council, thank goodness. Okay, let's go back down to speed 3 for a second here. We can uh, take a decision here, we can raise our piety even higher. I think we definitely want that and this. Not so much this one. So our piety's at uh, 33 at the moment. Which is fine. Suddenly we're making 11 diplo points per month, which is good. And integrations are both still looking pretty good. 77 and 76. We're only about 5 and 4 years away. Let's focus into the entirety of our forces on this thing. Although I do plan on attacking the Ottoman. He's allied to Chernigov, Styria, and some dude down in Africa. Unfortunately, they get a, uh, a breach on our vassal's fort here. Still, it's a it's a vassal to a secondary participant in the war. I can't imagine it's going to be worth very much war score, or it's not going to cause any issues. He can have as much as much war exhaustion as, as he wants. I don't really care. Another guy that I did want to attack is, is possibly um, Ethiopia. I don't want to mess up the integration of Hejaz, though, so I don't think we're going to give him any more territory. Even though he does have that other core over there. Is the Jazz going to get done first, or the other one? November of 76 versus August of 77. So yeah, if I gave him like two more provinces, it wouldn't actually be a bad thing. Let's just see if how many people would actually protect this guy right now? No one would protect him. We might as well do this war just to just to try to average out Hejaz and uh, Sicily. And we've got this army down here, and we got a free general, and it's just like a couple claims and cores. Let's get two more cores here for six development. Six development at eight is six times eight points is forty-eight extra points at five. Per month is an extra nine months, which would would help sync these up a little bit better. It's almost perfect, in fact. So I think we do a quick war down here. Reconquest of Kinda. Put an army there to help blockade, block anyone from trying to march that direction. We're almost capped out on points again. I think I'm just going to do a little tiny bit more of development in our capital. Let's also find Fayum. Make sure that Fayum is 0% autonomy. It is. Okay. I've heard that this, uh, this screen got updated in the... Oh wait, no. It already does have it there. Huh. Anyway, cool. developments looking pretty good let's call that good for now enemy war leader is the Teutons so fighting his army would be a good idea he's on military tech 21 he's done really well full offensive no, nothing else. He's got 5% discipline, a little bit of uh, reduced infantry. Looks like a little bit of cavalry combat ability. I don't see any infantry combat ability in his ideas. So hopefully our guys will be much better. We are at war again. Wouldn't mind turning this thing back on again. Yeah, we'll see though. 
Maybe, maybe before we hire more generals. Maybe I'll remember. Ah. Right? Maybe. Oh man, Portugal called France in as well. Obviously, Castile stands no chance. Only Tayo would help protect him. Some little dip, dipity derp down there. We might as well pile on in this war while he's got no allies. If we make it on behalf of our vassal, then we can take claims of our own as well. Let's make it on Granada. No, let's make it on Cordoba. It's quite possible Portugal might take some of this land, which could mess things up. I guess we will make it Granada. Why declare it now? Um, I think just so that our vassal can potentially uh, siege some stuff down for us. And actually, I don't want this army there, I just want to send this army this way. Why on earth would you take these boats? I tell them to go home at war for now, I just don't want them to do anything for me. We'll hang out in Slistry for now, waiting on this other army here. Put together a pretty good composition here to engage him. Coming into some step here. Level 2 fort on the coast. Hopefully it'll hold for a month or two while we can get the rest of the army together. And then we'll just go smash this thing. 3-3-1 general. Damn it, I lost another claim on, on, uh, on the Ottomans. There should be an alert for claims expiring soon. Two towns have accepted peace from Moldavia, so that guy's out already. Oh, never mind. I'm assuming we're still gonna have military access through Moldavia? No. I wonder if Russia is gonna ask for access. Probably not. I'll just ask for it myself. Seriously, I'm getting black flag now. It must have been, maybe, Moldavia that had the military access before. Yeah, I don't have military access through the Ottomans now. It means there's no way that I can get my army up there. Cool. That's not true. There's an easy way that I can get my army up there. We could declare war on the Ottomans. And just smash the crap out of his army. And then ignore the other war. This would call in all of his allies. Yeah, why not? For funsies. Go. Take the 4-4 general, go kill the Ottomans. We got 48 plus 6 plus 20, go. Make it happen. 27th, 24th, done. This fort is fully maintained, that's fine. That's right, I'm in four wars. This, this boy's got a name to prove. Stack wipe, done. Four war score, thank you. All right then, uh, so I can't do much yet. Um, I think we split this army in half, grab the heart half without a general, bring it over here. We declared this war while we were within this zone of control, but we have our own zone of control, so we shouldn't be restricted. Not gonna make any more dumb mistakes with zones. Let's march up to Celestria, take care of that thing. Um, down here, we've taken this thing. That's mountains, don't care about that. Uh, march over to the war goal. We do need to end this war here fairly quickly. So we're getting close to finishing the integration. Since we declared reconquest, we don't actually have to occupy this. We just need to have a fort and have him be willing to surrender. This army that's on its way over will hopefully be able to cross into Granada. Let's send it there now. We've got three generals. All three are being used. We surprisingly have no heir. Do I have any royal marriages right now? Just with Sicily? Okay. Lose five legitimacy for that royal marriage. Only two here. Just take the two. See if we can get a slightly better chance for an heir. We're Sunni, so it shouldn't really be an issue. 
Wait a second. Am I mistaken? Maybe there was a... Uh, I thought that Suni had like much, much better chance for an heir. Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. Doesn't look like we actually have a modifier for, modifier for it. Still, take Constantinople capital. Smash the Ottomans. They've got 11,000 infantry. I'm thinking we killed the entirety of his army. Yeah, he has no cav, no cannons. So these are just merc infantry probably that he's hiring. Yep, nine merc infantry, three regular guys. So he's just mercing up. Stack wiping him stack wiping him like that is pretty awesome. I don't think that he's got any. He does have three heavies. Hopefully my my light fleet's safe. I've just lost three light ships to do nothing. So no, it's not doing that great. Twenty-seven ships need repairs. Free diplomat. Um, we're gonna want to tech up soon, so it is probably time to start spying on France again. Spy network, of course, is completely gone since we spent most of it. General Boutrous, whatever is done, is dead. We are slightly ahead of on military tech. I'm just gonna go ahead and hire another general. It's, it's fine. 351, no siege value. I probably should have uh, hired, turned on that policy again, though. But I didn't. It's just one siege pip. It's not like I'm hiring three or four generals. And 10% siege efficiency is not, not worth not worth one point a month for, for five years or whatever it is. Although I have to say, four wars is kind of crazy. We only got some eight in the front row. We've got a much, much stronger army. I'll just hack it into the bad terrain, it's fine. Now we want to get down here and kill the Ottoman army that he's trying to form up here. So Ankara would pose a little bit of an issue. We've got enough siege equipment here to speed that up, and our vassal's not doing anything with it, so we'll, we'll bring the other guy in and just take care of it. Hey there, Chernigov. How do you like my 30% infantry combat ability, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is actually flat terrain as well. For some reason, I thought that was defensive. Nope. Stack wipe. Good. Okay, done. If you are able to march through here, I should be allowed to march through here. Yeah. Of course I can, I asked for the access. I'll just take this army up there. It's not quite as large as the army that we saw from the Teutons. It's a bit concerning. Maybe we should square away the, the war with the Ottomans first. Yeah, he's trying to form troops up down here. I could easily smash whatever he's putting together. We'll take care of that first. Take care of this Ottoman army down here next. Once we take care of this fort, we can march down this way and then kill that thing. And once that's all done, I imagine the Ottomans will probably already want to surrender. We get them to surrender, and then we... ...do whatever. Tayo is a non-factor. Level 3 fort. We'll grab... ...three infantry. One can go there. One can go there. One can go there. And if we are allowed to march up that way... ...we are not. We'll just ignore those provinces then. So again, these eight galleys here are probably going to cause some issues. If I lose any more ships here... Kid, I lost another damn ship. Please stop protecting Genoa way the hell over here. This is getting kind of ridiculous. I 
I kind of miss the days where you could just smash everything with a massive navy. I had the time to train some cannons. Get the impression he might be marching to sin up, trying to go for the capital. Or he's just gonna come here. Alright, that's fine. Cool. Yeah, we'll be gladly reinforced with that fight. Let our vassal take the, br the brunt of the damage and we just come out ahead looking good. Except for the fact that our vassal's troops just died and now our cannons are in the front row. Fighting against Ottoman infantry. Hmm. Alright, well it turns out that I would have preferred for my men to be in the center. So we just lost 3,000 cannons. But we did win a battle. This is getting so ridiculous, man. And your damn little eight stack of galleys. Finally, it's dead. In fact, we gained one. Go repair again. I like how I honored the call for Russia, and now I'm just completely ignoring everything that he's doing. Seems appropriate, right? Eight more galleys. Ottomans, I am so sick of you making galleys. Would you please stop doing that? Let's do this. 4-2 versus our guy. We're going to suffer river crossing. I don't care. We're wider. We've got better combat ability. More cannons. Way more morale. Better prestige, uh, better tactics. Slightly better discipline. Alright, we finally got our war goal down here against you. That's flat terrain. That is a war with you. Let's come back from France for a second. See what we're looking at. Songhai is bringing an army up. That's the war with the Ottomans, yes. We have 23 war score already, though. We got his capital. 25 enthusiasm. I'd rather try to kill these armies. Those juicy cannons that he's been building. You, Oman, though. I wouldn't mind piecing out right now. So, I only want the things that cost me zero dip. I only need eight. So if you could just go ahead and surrender. That's what I'm looking for. That should be this guy. Jazz gets his provinces. July of 77, August of 77. Perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. Alright, so now you are going to march up here and probably deal with Songhai. Songhai is on tech 18, so that army should be large enough. Kill that army. Finish this siege, please. My navy's all split up again.
Still waiting on that peace deal for Portugal, France, Castile. Gotta go the long way around if I want to get to his army again. Um, I don't think we do. I think this inland fort would be a little bit easier to take out. Hey, it's Ali, a 334, just like our current guy. Cool. That's fine. Hopefully the siege succeeds. <laughs> nope. So we're lo Russia's losing their war. Order of friction CB. Negative from battles. He's lost control of Polotsk. That's a lot of troops. He's fighting Sweden and the Teutons, and I'm meanwhile just ignoring him and fighting the Ottomans. Yeah. Well, it sounds like something I would do. You, you can't be surprised. The 4-2 general. 26 in the front row versus our 19. They're gonna flank us pretty well. Asturias, Leon, Barajos, Cordoba, Fernando Po, Trarza, Kayor. That's a lot of land. He did take Cordoba, so I'm glad that I went for Granada. Which means our sieges can begin immediately. That is 52,000 troops from the Netherlands. Dude, the Teutons really called in a lot of people here, didn't they? My vassal's not liking that. He'll probably live, though. I was thinking about which, uh, which idea group I wanted to go for with our next ideas. And it pretty much, I think, has to be uh, diplomatic ideas. There's just too many different ways that diplomatic ideas can help me. There's so many policies that I can enact that will give me diplomatic reputation and other things that I want. Whether it's the accepted culture threshold or just turning like four of them on for a ton of diplomatic reputation so that I can integrate nations faster. All those things are very useful to me. Great. Our reputation just got sabotaged. Is that... Thanks a lot, you dick. Who did that? Wow. That that actually really hurts a lot. Kind of annoying. I really just want some provinces that I have claims on. Maybe war reps. Shorter truce with the two claims that I have is, is fine. Taking his capital and another province over here. It's good. Accomplish our mission. Get done with the war. Any of these other sieges could complete. I think we'd be in a good spot. I think Russia's gonna lose their war, because I'm not gonna help him. I hope that he loses his war soon if he's going to, because I'd really prefer to not have to fight this 60,000 troops from the Netherlands. Troops with air guns already up. We had to take a loan, sadly. Taking Constantinople is is fantastic though. 37 development. It's in the Constantinople node. Got two modifiers to everything. Quite likely just one more fight here. 27 in the front. We've got 27 in the front. Let's just go do the fight. 
It's even. We'll reinforce into it, assuming the battle's still going on. Nice zero in the first phase, that's cool. Zero six nine. We'll take it. This will likely lower their enthusiasm a little bit. A little bit more war exhaustion. Not quite enough. I would really like to end this war right now. Inscription center, better cannons, more combat width. Two more artillery fire. I'd really like to spy in France for this thing, but uh... You know, the discount's not going to be very much. There's only one tech ahead of me. I think we just go ahead and take the tech now. It's going to be very advantageous to have it. Of course, it's also going to increase my penalty, but whatever. And even though we don't have any Diplo points, I am going to just go Diplomatic Ideas. And eventually we'll have Diplomatic points. 532 power per tech. And, uh, that's fine. And we're gonna spy in France a little bit before we start taking that tech. Now, yeah, if Chance he's stomping here, I'd love to be there. He's not. Alright, I think we're gonna have this here in just a moment. There it is. Call it. It's good. It's fine. Go away. We can just immediately start these cores then. They're expensive, but that's because they're part of a, a territory already. And, uh,. We'll begin that other one next month. So for now, I'm gonna take a break here. But um, we're looking pretty solid. Pretty much never gonna run out of power projection. And hopefully this war with the uh, the Teutons will end soon and we can just ignore all that. So, all right, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next episode. See you soon.